Thanks to Fractal Design, Sapphire, and V1 Tech. You guys just remember when you're shopping, these guys made our trip possible and they are supporting awesome events like PDX LAN. You know all the nerd websites that should do these really pretty, almost hipstery videos where they lay out everything on a table and talk about what's in my bag? Well, you know what? A lot of people do want to know what we carry when we go to events, so we're going to do it the right way. We're going to do it live and show you everything except for our underwear that's in these bags. Actually, we're only going to show you the technology stuff, so... Alright, uh, Spanx, what's in your bag? Alright, let's have a look at it. Main compartment. Let's see. Got my uh, Asus gaming laptop. Let's pull this thing out. Right there, Asus gaming laptop, 64 gig uh, external uh, flash drive in there. Open up this little secret compartment here. It's my uh, Razer Destructor 2 gaming mouse pad. Got the. This is this is bigger than most laptops these days. The, the case for that mouse pad. I just want you to know that's bigger than a lot of laptops. It's, it's, ne it's necessary. <laughs> it's a uh, Razer uh, Death Adder uh, gaming mouse and my TT Pod in-ear monitor headphones. Right up. What's it? All right, let's uh, slide this aside. We're gonna take a look at what's in uh, this bag. Check this out. This is the, uh, of course, we both have the Chrome Citadel bag. This has been uh, printed by Chrome themselves for us. You can get them in the store. All right, let's check out what's in the bag first. Let's start on the outside here. Now we've got uh, banks for days. This is a um, Kinku, I guess. Power bank, I think it's like a million milliamp hours or something. Another power bank from Fuel. This one has flashlight. Oh, 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 JJ Abrams. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a power bank with a flashlight. And I, um, lots of ways to charge things, right? These are just, you know, wall plugs for USB. And this is very necessary for me. So this is, you know, when you go on some flights, they have that stupid almost DRM thing where you have to have a stupid connector so they can sell their stupid headphones because they're stupid. And then all the people who buy the, the Bose Quiet Comfort sit around and complain. Well, I got this. Bose Quiet Comfort are silly anyway. All right. And then here's my little idea book. Let's see what's, uh, what's cooking today. Uh, Canon, uh, that long number there. I don't know what that means. Probably my credit card number. Uh, let's see what else is in here. This is not my handwriting. This is your handwriting, I believe, right? Nope. No? Nope. Uh, it's mine, I guess. I don't know. And there's more stuff over here upside down. Uh, no tires. Uh, that says uh, Mickey Thompson, Maxis, Mastercraft, Xenocide. Must be black metal band names or something. Of course, they're my laptops. <laughs> I think it is. Uh, I don't know what this is. I do not know what that is. I do not use this device. Liar. It was free. It's 160 gigabytes. Every time I mention that it's 160 gigabytes, people go, but there's 128 gigabyte SD cards. And then I usually punch them and walk away because well, I don't know how. Okay, never mind. Austria earbuds right here in this little pouch. I'll keep, I'll keep laying stuff down. A USB micro cable. This is a um, Zalman, really handy dandy uh, portable hard drive that has lots of different ISOs in, in there. It's a, I forgot the, the model number on this one, but you can essentially select your ISO that you want and then mount it and then boot from it, install OS, whatever. It's got like Windows, Linux, even um, some more obscure operating systems. USB 3 cord for no reason. All right, down here in the bottom is the important part. Lots of adapters. Okay, so we've got, you know, like... Um, it's mini uh, uh, HDMI to regular HDMI. It's a DisplayPort mini to full-size DisplayPort. Mini DisplayPort to DVI, very handy at LAN parties. And I believe we've got some HDMI ones in here as well. Yeah, we've got the HDMI to DVI to make sure we're all covered. All right, let's get into the uh, main compartment. All right. And here. Let's, uh, let's see what's hiding in this little pouch. Eight eight. Uh, that is a um, SSD, portable SSD we carry around with us with USB. Nice long. Uh, this is a mini USB cable for plugging up our microphones to the PC and stuff. Vivis. This is the big guy that you can uh, you know set your phone right in there, use it as a stand, and then charge it. Battery bank, another one. Charger for the laptop. 
What could be in this bag? Ah, it's my Zoe EC1 Evo, branded by Monoprice. It's got some, what is that junk on there? Uh-oh. Yeah. It goes back in there where it's nice and all that. Uh, we've got an HDMI cable. Uh, old school Apple iPod thing. Stand for stuff. I forgot what's in here. What's in here? MSI GS60 laptop for gaming. I need to upgrade pretty soon because this only has a, um, a GTX 760M in it. Gets the job done for most games. Uh, this is for writing down notes about C&C, um, &C, Castles and Crusades, or Dungeons and Dragons, or whatever we're going to play. Cyberpunk, Shadowrun, I don't know. There's lots of notes and all that sort of thing. Notes and notes and notes. Uh, Mionix in his 320 aluminum mouse pad because you can bludgeon people with it. <laughs> uh, audio cable. All right, this is very important here. This is the X Capture One from Japan. It's a USB 3 um, capture device that allows you to hook up HDMI and virtually everything else S video or you know, whatever you want. Uh, and then we use this. That plugs into the camera, and that plugs into the X capture, and then we're able to do live capture uh, while we're on location. It's really good for doing the tech and that sort of thing. And there's the USB cable that goes with that. Almost done here. All right, here we have, uh, let's see, uh, my side bag of something. AMD on the other side. Open this, open. Mother of God. There we go. Never know when you're gonna need those. Some chance dice, eh? Um, uh, business cards. Here's our uh, memory card holder. Oh no, they've all come out. This thing is, uh, don't buy this, whatever brand this is, because they don't stay in there. Memory cards just will flop about in this case. They don't seem to like to stay in there very well. Gotta buy the Pelican one. Yeah, gotta buy the Pelican one, not this freaking, what is this, Ruggard? <laughs> Ruggard. It couldn't even spell rugged right. Yeah, I fell down the stairs and got rugged burn. <laughs> All right. Almost done with this one, and then it'll be uh, camera time, guys. What's in the back here? We keep things in the back, too. Oh, Antlion Mod Mic. These are very handy because they have a great sound. Got the Mod Mic in there. Whenever you have a rental car, this is the best thing ever. Into the cigarette lighter. And then we have two more, so you can put two more things in there. And we also have USB, so you can charge two USB things. And I, the last time we traveled, we had both of these plugged up. And we were charging like eight things out of one uh, cigarette lighter. I get headaches. Doctor says it's an overactive mind. I said, what? <laughs> and uh, contacts, because I know everybody. All right, I think it's your turn now. Move that aside. You ready to do some camera stuff? Let's uh, go ahead and uh, hold on a second. I'll open this up. All right, uh, so. First off, let's the, tell us about the camera first. So this is the, uh, the A7S. If you don't know, it's the king of low light cameras. It works at night, basically. You can see better than your human eye. And uh, this is the new 2470 F2.8L Mark II, which is absolutely ridiculous. And a little uh, MVM 500A Manfrotto monopod, which is a uh, fluid head, really nice. It, pans down here and then tilts up here. Really good for running and gunning and it's really fast. Uh, but let's uh, come over here because that's where the good stuff is. <sighs> so, Mayflower Electronics portable amp. Very useful. This is my battery that I take with me when I need it in my pocket. This is my big boy, the Gata. This is a, uh, I don't know. Gotta have that, right? Gotta have that billion milliard amphere hours. Uh, charger for the uh, Mayflower eSig iPhone iPad charger, extra set of headphones, a splitter uh, for the uh, plane. This is great. You can actually have two people listening to the same device on your uh, 
on your iPad or on your computer, and that is great on flights. If you sit next to a cute girl and you're like, hey, are you bored? Do you want to watch a movie? You know, whatever. You and uh, Anti-social together. Yeah, it's actually great. Uh, let's see, what's in here? A wall charger, a pen, a lighter. Nothing much uh, else, nah, nothing good. All right, now check out, this is the cool part about this bag. This is a TSA approved bag. And when you get that lighter in here? Why, you can't take a lighter? I don't know. I don't know, but check this out. Headphones and pillow, and then- Which headphones? Do they want to know that, I'm sure. Uh, these are the uh, Sony, or... uh, MDR 7506s, yeah. Uh, Thunderbolt cable, and then here's my laptop. Don't tell anybody, it's a Mac, sorry guys. Uh, that's, a, that's an Asus Mac, right? Yeah, yeah it's an Asus Mac, maybe by Asus. Alright, and here's the good stuff. So here's the computer case. Little pouch to hold my stuff when I don't want to take the whole case with me. We have the GH4 in here, uh, AA battery charger, two battery chargers for the GH4 and uh, for the Sony A7S. We have a light here. This is a little bicolor LED light that takes AA batteries that are rechargeable. We have the, uh, what's this thing called again? Don King. The Roland. The Roland R26. We call him Don King. There you go with the dead cat on top. We have uh, four spare batteries for the GH4 and four more for the A7S. We have uh, Sony wireless lavaliers with uh, 2.5 inch cables. 60 macro for the uh, GH4. This is the uh, 24 Samyang for the GH4. This is a 50 Canon for the uh, A7S. 70 to 200 for the A7S. This is uh, 16 to 35 with a Metabone Speed Booster. We use this on the uh, GH4 as well. This is actually magic. This is the complete opposite of a teleconverter. It does the opposite of a teleconverter. It gives you one stop of extra light and it gives you uh, a wider field of view by 0 0.7, which it is... It works with all your Canon lenses. It works with all the full frame lenses on a crop sensor body or all the crop sensor lenses on a micro four thirds body. This is the brand new uh, 24 millimeter. It's actually a 50 on the F4.3 Rokinon. Logan just got this. We have not even used it yet. Really nice cine lens, it's a nice smooth iris and smooth focus, really cool. Uh, this is filled with ND filters, variable ND filters, regular ND filters, polarizers, etc. cetera. Uh, step up rings, another uh, 58 millimeter ND. This is a graduated ND filter holder with step up rings in the back for all of our lenses and they're all stacked up there. And then these are all of our uh, graduated filters for the cameras in case we see a beautiful sunset. That's what we carry with us, just a couple of things, you know, not much. No more than we needed. Maybe a little bit more than we needed for a LAN party. So, enjoy. The, go subscribe. Click on all the things on the screen. Bye.